Hi everyone, and welcome to Huawei Datacom MWC Online. Today, I've come to the AI-powered O&M exhibition booth, and I'm joined here by the Senior Marketing Manager of Huawei's campus networks, Terry Wang. Hi, Terry. Hi, Sam. Hi, everyone. So, Terry, um, last time we actually already learned about Huawei's Air Engine Wi-Fi 6, some of the technologies behind it. So, what would you like to share with everyone today? Yeah, today we are going to talk about uh, Huawei's uh, NCE Cams in Sage, which is an uh, AI-powered OM system. Okay, I'm very excited. Okay, so let's use Huawei's Songshan Lake Base to talk about uh, how Huawei's NCE Cams in Sage to provide an AI-based network OM system. Okay. And uh, when we talk about uh, three scenarios, first is the uh, real-time user experience. Yeah. Yeah. Second is the network fault location, and at last to do the optimization. Okay. Okay. So first is the real-time user experience. Yeah. So you can see here the IMAST NC actually to build a digital twin based on the physical network, and it uh, obtain all kinds of five layers. Uh, data from the device, network, service, user, and application. Yeah. So based on this, it can do the intelligent analysis based on the AI algorithm. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this one client seems to just want some problem. Here, the actual client is Kevin. So he complains that he has several payment failures mm. during the Wi-Fi network. So let's have a look how can the master NCE to solve this problem. Okay. So for the traditional OM, you know, it is based on the manpower and uh, the on-site troubleshooting. Right. So normally for this Wi-Fi uh, issue, so it uh, have to do the on-site troubleshooting. It will take several hours. So for Huawei's AI-powered OM system, we can use one click user information check to input the game's name, and uh, we can do the user journey analysis. So you can see here, we can uh, know all the moments uh, user ex experience. And uh, in this moment, it seems that uh, we find some, some issue. Yeah. So this is, uh, to help to, this is a user journey analysis. And we can help quickly to detect the user experience. Yeah. OK. So you, I mean, you just explained how the huge advantage that AI-powered intelligent O&M has over traditional O&M. So how is that achieved? OK, so let's go to the to check it. Okay. So, you know, the traditional OM system is normally based on the device. Yeah. Yeah, so it can tell us how the device information, how is the status of the network devices. Yeah. But it is not it not based on the user experience. So the Huawei's AI powered in the OM, it is a user-centric system and it should obtain all this data from the the physical network and after that it will build the uh, experience the evaluation system and to tell you all the detail of the user's experience, the application experience. And we uh, it, it can help you to do one click to quick check the user information. Yeah. Very impressive. So we just talk about uh, the user experience yeah, based on real time visualization. Yeah. So that, then let's talk about the second scenario, which is about uh, the Faster fault location within minutes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So in this scenario, the IT department they find that uh, there's a experience drop during the morning. Yeah. So let's have a look. How can the I must NCE solve this problem? Okay. So for the traditional OM, is you know the it is based on the passive response. Yeah. So it need to wait the user report or the complaints. But and the, normally for the Wi-Fi network, we have to send to the IT engineer to on-site to do the on-site troubleshooting. Right. And it needs at least four hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But for the AI-powered uh, this network uh, system, yeah, we built a seven-dimensional network experience evaluation system. And this system, we can see all the details of each areas, each users, each network's experience. And we can see that here. Uh, this conference room seems the experience is not good and there's some problem. So we use the one-click playback. This, uh, uh, this solution, this technology, it can automatically troubleshoot this issue within seconds. And in this scenario, you, we find that actually 
is one AP in this uh, conference room, there's a weak uh, signal coverage. And uh, actually, the possible cause is uh, there's extensive high AP power. So actually, this total uh, process only needs uh, 10 minutes. Yeah. Wow, I mean, that's a huge improvement in O&M efficiency. So how is that achieved? Yeah, let's uh, talk about the de detail of this technology. Okay. So you know, this, this AI power system is based on the AI algorithm. Yeah. So this is very important. So we, we built a training model, this system, uh, with Huawei's uh, more than 200,000 uh, terminals. Wow, okay. Yeah, so based on this, we, we built, uh, we, it can support more than 85% percent potential for protectively detect. Yeah. Yeah, and also with Huawei, with more than 30 years network experience. Yeah. yeah so we can help to quickly infer more than 100 faults, different okay. types of faults. Yeah. And uh, so this is why we can make this uh, network uh, fault detection yeah, within 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, like you said, 200,000 terminals training the AI algorithm. So, I mean, now I can understand how we can find the problem so quickly. Yeah, exactly. More data. Yeah, more precise. So let's talk about the third scenario. Okay. In this scenario, yeah, we will do the network optimization after the service change. Yeah. So in, in this scenario, you can see the department, there's one department, they have to, they want to plan to upgrade the office to be the wireless office area. Yeah. And uh, they would like to ask the IT department to ensure the upgrade, yeah, to, for the user experience. Yeah. So let's uh, look, have a look at the IMAS NCE, how can it to provide, to ensure this upgrade. Mm -hmm. So for the traditional, the OM, you know, after the network uh, construction for the wireless, that normally will be the frequent fault occurrence yeah, for different uh, devices yeah. because uh, you have to do the optimization, but uh, it is a single device radio calibration and uh, not for the whole network wide. Yeah. But the uh, AI pod network OM system, it uh, will do the network, wi network wide uh, intelligent radio calibration. It, the, the NCE comes inside, it will obtain all the network data and do the analysis and to do the network-wide optimization. And it will not only obtain the, the real-time uh, data, real-time interference, but also the whole history data, history uh, interference and to do the, this optimization. So the network op optimization will be, will be done automatically. Yeah. So it will help to assure this upgrade, to assure the user experience. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, in terms of assuring the user experience on the entire network, how exactly does Huawei achieve this? Yes, yeah, this, this uh, we call it is uh, intelligent radio calibration, and this technology, which is AI based, it is uh, the unique in the industry, and uh, we use the reinforcement learning mm. and also the neural network yeah. Yeah, to, to make uh, this overall uh, calibration. Okay. And it will help to improve the overall network performance more than 50%. More than 50%, yeah. wow. Well, I'm confident that this is an O&M tool that every enterprise needs. So can we look at the actual user interface of Campus Insight? Okay, so let's have a look at the three real demo for these three scenarios. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, the user interface for the NCE camps inside. And what we, what we can see here is the, all the user list for the network. So we can uh, check each user's current journey. For example, we can search the username and after that to go to the current journey for the VIP user. So for this VIP client, uh, this is the overview of the, all the experience metrics. And for the packet loss, it is really high, it seems that's a, that's a problem. So here, list the experience metric trend. So we find that at eight o'clock, it seems there's a lot of experience drop. And here, this is the details of the client junior. 
for each moment. And uh, at the 8 o'clock, uh, you see, it is, uh, we find that uh, there's a weak uh, signal courage. So this is why the, it causes a high, high drop of the packet, high packet loss. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first demo. Okay, let's uh, go to the second demo. Uh, in this demo, we can see that uh, for this is a VIP user list, and uh, for this VIP user, there are three times uh, access failure. And let's go to the details of uh, one, one failure. And there's one feature called the protocol trace. We use this feature to, to detect the details of detailed reason for this failure. And uh, you can see here for the user access, there are several stages for the all association and the authentication. This is two steps, two steps are successful. But for the DHCP step, it is uh, failed. And uh, this uh, system uh, showed the root cause for this uh, failure. The root cause is the IP address in the uh, IP address pool is not enough. Uh, and also it gives you the suggest suggestion how to solve this issue. So we use this feature protocol chase to we, it can quickly uh, detect the root cause for this failure and only need uh, several minutes. Okay, so this is the second demo. Okay, so this is the third demo, which is intelligent radio calibration. And uh, in this environment, uh, actually we already enabled this function. But if you are the first time to use this function, you need to enable it. So let's have a look how to enable it. So first we need to turn on this uh, switch and uh, then the system will tell you the details of the edge APs and also the high load APs. And after that we can uh, enable this function. Okay, here, actually here is a history record for this radio calibration. And you can see here uh, the bandwidth is sharply improved after the calibration and also the interference is uh, reduced. And we can go to the details of this times the calibration. So here actually is a comparison between the before calibration and after calibration. And also the bottom page shows the details of the calibration, which AP, uh, which channel, and uh, the power, and the frequency bandwidth is uh, how it's it is changed. So this is a so demo, the intelligent radio calibration, this function can help to increase the, the network experience quickly and uh, automatically. Okay, thank you. So this is a, a three demos for Huawei Camps Insight. That's so cool. I really think that Cloud Campus's Wi-Fi 6 plus Campus Insight is something that every enterprise needs. This amazing combination of software and hardware is something that can really improve the experience for enterprise networks. So I mean, today I've learned a lot, but I think the three things that really come to mind are uh, visible experience of every user at every moment, um, locating and demarcation of faults in minutes, and also finally is the intelligent radio calibration. I don't know, is that correct? Yes, Sam, you make a great summary. So I also hope that all the online friends, you can know more details of Huawei Camps Incentive. Uh, through this uh, exhibition booth. Yeah. Thank you very much, Terry, for sharing your insights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And if you'd like to find out more information, please visit our official website, or you can go to one of the local Huawei sales offices. Thank you.